You mentioned that in the book that Amazon uh, might have saved themselves a whole bunch of money with their originally 90-second ad. Can you explain that? Super Bowl ad. Right. So in the 2018 Super Bowl, they had an ad called Alexa Loses Her Voice, which is famous stars filling in for Alexa who has a cold or whatever. And it's a 90-second ad. Uh, that Super Bowl, the ad cost was $5.3 million to air it for each 30 seconds. So they spent $16 million on this ad. Sorry, just to air the ad. I mean, at least double that for, you know, Anthony Hopkins and Cardi B and all these famous people who are on it. So they spend a ton of money. And what we see is that the pattern recurs. So as, as many listeners know, you know, the brain likes new, but not too new. So it wants some novelty. But if it's too weird, then I just can't kind of process it. But this pattern just recurred. Someone asks a question to Alexa and then a, a, you know, a star that, you know, answers in kind of a funny way. But that recurs like five times in this ad. And by second 30, the brain's already seen it twice and everything else just dies. So, again, that was a failure or wasted money for lack of measurement. Right. If you had stopped at the first two, you would have gone, oh, this is hilarious. I should maybe get myself one of these devices from Amazon, but they just ran it too long. It's almost like, you know, uh, Saturday Night Live, you know, if you ever watch that, I feel like some of those sketches, they just have to fill time. And like, that should have been a nice three minute sketch and not a seven minute sketch. Like I got it. It was funny. And now it's just like, let's stop. So one takeaway for listeners is that almost always shorter is more immersive than longer, right? And it seems kind of odd, but because the brain is so energy dependent, takes so much energy to run the brain, it, you know, uh, immersion is metabolically costly. And so it just kind of wants to return, the brain wants to return to baseline. So hit me hard, hit me fast, give me a call to action. So you can think of immersion as like tension in the brain, like tension in a story. So if a lot of tension, give me a way to get rid of that tension by doing something. So I'm shocked at how many ads go from TV right to YouTube, I was watching one yesterday for a very expensive perfume starring Charlize Theron. Beautiful ad. Well done. It was 60 seconds. Should have been 30 if I look at the immersion data. And even for the 60 second ad, no hyperlink. Buy now. Oh my God. What are you thinking? <laughs> you just created all this tension. Beautiful Charlize Theron. Beautiful filming. They spend a lot of money. And you place on YouTube and just what? Hope people will do something. Have you seen the humans? We have a short attention span. <laughs> Can we do it? Let <laughs> me buy this damn thing now. So, you know, how hard is it to hire one dude to put in a hyperlink at the end of that ad? It's it's nuts to me. So, I mean, little things. So in that ad for Charlotte, sorry, I'm on a rant now, but that ad for Charlie Saron, there was an immersion peak right around second, between second 25 and second 30. We get offline, Roger, I'll send it, I'll send it to you. I mean, it is like so compellingly emotional. It's just gorgeous. She's coming out of the water. She's wet. I'm like, oh my God, I'll buy anything from this woman. And then other little storylines and then immersion just drops down. I mean, oh my gosh, you know, it's like <laughs> these people are so creative. They're so wonderful and they just need a tool to measure when to stop. 